Hey guys and welcome to another video with Luga Lilje. This week I am doing the free color challenge and since I'm doing this one on the computer I'm using random.org to generate free random colors and let's just rephrase the page to get the first one and the first one is a bright green color and the second one is more of a teal color and last one a light gray color and I'm just gonna take a screenshot of the three colors so that I can place them into my document. And I decided on making the drawing before I generated the three colors so that the drawing wouldn't be influenced by the colors that I got. And funny enough, I have just the other day realized that I don't use a lot of green in my drawings. So to get two greenish colors is kind of nice. Since this challenge is inspired by the free market challenge, I try to imitate the blending effect with the markers by turning down the opacity to 50% and then blend the free colors. And this gave me a slightly bigger range of color. And I'm not quite sure if someone would say that this is cheating but this is just the way i'm doing it i am doing this challenge after i saw lavender time do it last week and i have been doing a free market challenge before but i have never really figured out how to do the challenge digitally before i watched her video last week and if you haven't seen any of her videos before you should definitely go and check them out the idea behind the drawing was to make a fairy-like girl so that it wouldn't be too strange if her skin color wasn't a real skin color. And I was considering doing another Christmas drawing, but I didn't for two reasons. First of all, I would definitely not get a red color or only Christmas colors. And second of all, I have already made one Christmas videos for you guys and I thought that one was enough. I had a really, really hard time deciding on how to combine these colors. So this is kind of an insight into how I normally work when I have to choose colors and it's kind of a mess and I'm trying out a lot of different things and I'm forgetting half of it before I go to the next step. When I added on shadows I simply made a layer on top of the whole drawing, set it to multiply and then use the light gray that I got to add in shadows. This challenge was I would say a lot of fun definitely even though it's not with markers and I'm gonna try it another time I'm not quite sure when and it doesn't really matter but I'm definitely gonna try it again but with more rules to follow and I really like the shawls especially that I had more or less only green colors to use I am adding in the final details in the drawing and I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video if you did please remember to hit that subscribe button and I update a new video every Friday but if you want to be updated more frequently I also have a Facebook and an Instagram and if you're interested in buying any of my art I have my own Redbubble shop all which there will be a link for down below and See you in my next video and until next time, take care and bye bye.